insulation so insulation means our materials in physics you also have the same topic insulation means a material which is used to stop the heat transfer which is used to stop the heat transfer it stop the heat transfer can you give me example of any insulating material anyone which material can be used as a insulator rubber rubber okay what wood then glass yes vacuum glass also good so these are lot of yes who say who is this dry air rahaf yes rahaf what did you say please say again dry air dry air it can but vacuum is more effective that one okay now we will see the first of all the loft insulation loft means the layer of the roof the roof space i will show you first of all they are saying that if you will insulate your roof or the loft so at that time you can reduce lot of heat how you can reduce that one see this diagram please so now this these type of the houses is not here but in the european countries and uk and us do they have these type of the like uh, homes which are mostly made by wood and now they have this space here can you see this material this is a insulating material down you have the house and this is your ceiling and you have roof up this one so in between they are using this insulating material so this material will stop the heat transfer going from home to out so whenever the heat want to escape so it will stop it so by doing this one you can stop the heat loss through the roof so that is known as loft insulation another diagram you can see for example here here instead of that one they are using special foam and this foam is also type of a insulator so they will spray it between these wood places and again it will also stop the heat transfer so like this they can do the loft insulation any confusion in this no okay now move to the under floor insulation now as i told you that these houses are made by wood so this is the down part of the house mean on the ground they are above the ground for a certain height so here they are using again a insulating material you can see this material this is insulating material so if the heat want to come out from the floor to the ground so they will stop that heat transfer also so now the roof you insulated the floor you insulated what is left uh, the wall walls good yes very good so now we have the walls what we will do with the walls now see here again sometime they are using this type of material on the floor to make it insulator and you can use the carpet also the carpet also is a insulator now this these are the walls now see this diagram they are making the walls like this so in the wall they are making two side bricks one brick here and other bricks here in between they are leaving a gap and in this gap they are putting insulating material here they are putting insulating material so this empty space if there is this uh, material is not there it's known as cavity cavity means a uh, empty place so in this cavity they will put insulating material and this material will stop the heat transfer through walls now you fix the roof you fix the floor you fix the walls now what is left now all 
on the walls you have windows also how you will fix the windows now we'll see that one and this is the uh, di animated diagram but in real they are putting like this okay this is the one part of the wall then it comes the insulation then the other so then it covered like this so you cannot see the insulation so that is how you are stop the heat transfer through walls by putting an insulator between the wall cavity Uh, excuse me, sir. I have a question. Yes, yes. Why not? So, for this type of uh, of uh, insulator, mm -hmm. in summer, it will uh, it will affect? Yes. Yeah, it will affect. But uh, you know that uh, if you see, it is good in both ways. How? For example, this is your house. Let's suppose, and let's suppose this is winter now. Okay, in the winter outside it is cold. and inside you are using heater and temperature is mean here it is hot so if your home is insulated even the walls you are talking about it will not allow the heat to go out this is the first thing it mean your room will remain hot now let's see the summer in summer outside temperature is really hot as compared to inside inside if you are using air condition ac so temperature become cold so here it is good so if your wall is insulated it will not allow heat to go from outside to inside the house in both way it is good did you get it now yes sir okay but mostly uh, my dear it is done in the countries as i told you where its temperature is really cold so they are using there that type because to heat is escape very quickly if the temperature is even in some some places temperature is in minus okay now how they can stop the heat transfer through the windows so for that purpose they are using the double glazing mean double glass they are using for example they have one layer here then here you have air space and then other layer of glass here so these type of windows are used and these windows they will stop the heat transfer as compared to single glass so it's known as double glazing they are saying two pans of glass with a gap in the middle to act as in an insulator so this sealed gap is usually filled with air or an inert gas like argon mean talk about this air space this one okay so it is you can say tight doesn't mean that air can come from here go inside then come like this no it is air tight this one and this is the diagram in real how it look like the see now like this they have double glass this one one glass inside and one outside so these are little bit expensive as compared to the single but the people are doing this one to stop the heat transfer once they are building it they have to spend money on this one because this type of insulation is very costly but if they will see it so it save lot of energy mean lot of heat and how the heat they produce by heaters so it will decrease their gas and electricity bills understand so the money they spend here it is saved here whatever they spend more than that they can save so how can it uh, save the electricity in the gas how <clears throat> for example now in the cold countries for example this is your house if you want to make it hot so what you use if you want to make your room hot what you will use heater heater so we have two type of heaters heater working on electricity and heaters working on gas so you will use electricity or gas to make your room hot if your room is not insulated properly your house the heat will go out and again your room become cold then again you have to switch on heater to make it hot after some time if you switch it off again it will go out 
and again you have so you have to switch on or you have to run the heater for a long time even maybe 24 hours but if your room is well insulated so you will switch on the heater maybe for one hour when it's become hot so then you can switch off the heater but due to insulation heat will remain trapped for a long time inside the house which will be, make your house warm for a long time so by this way you have to switch on heater for less time so when you switch so it means it will use less electricity or less gas so by this way you can save the money did you get it now yes sir Okay, now in these uh, days, they are also using the triple glazing. Instead of two, they are using the three glass layers. So here you have two cavities. So here they also, this is more effective as compared with the double glazing. It depends now because every year new invention are coming in every field. So before they are saying double glazing is good, now saying that if you put triple mean three glasses so it will be more effective okay so how it is more effective they have did an experiment and they put a thermal sensor outside the house and what is their result see now now all of you can see this diagram okay now this is double glazing and this is the view from outside. Can you see the hot areas? It means that these areas are hot. From here, radiation is coming. So it means heat can be lost from here. Even it is double glazing. But this is now triple glazing. See, even the heat you cannot sense is from outside. So this is like a thermal, uh, you can say image. In thermal image in physics or maybe in x-rays you know that it is used by the army by the police to detect the uh, human beings or animals because they really radiate the energy and uh, if the room is hot so you can if you have a thermal gun you can check it it can be like this picture but here is double glass here is triple and triple you cannot see the heat is coming out understand excuse me sir yeah hello excuse me sir yes which one is the better which one is the better for triple you? triple because more layers you will put on the windows more it will save the energy yes the same way that if you are using one blanket in the winter and you use another which will give you more heat that double one it's like that more the layer you will add more efficient it will be okay these are about all insulation how we can make our house insulated and we can save the energy